ward. That means complete crisis fund. There again, now I have suggested we are taking slums there. Every area there are slums. Now all of you must be thinking slums means they are the people dirtying Bangalore city. No, they are not dirtying Bangalore city. The reason why they are doing it is these so-called uh, contractor people don't even go there. Because most of the contractors, somebody was telling also, if uh, you pay money, they will come and collect the garbage from you. If the next, she doesn't pay, then she won't take the garbage. Not only your garbage, she will come and put in front of her house. This is the normal tendency. This can be, this nexus can be broken. Only one of you take interest. Say, for example, by God's grace, all of you are elected as corporators in your ward. Then in your ward only you concentrate and see that things doesn't go bad. This doesn't need any extra budget and all that. See, now you want bad budget is there, three, four crores and all. You have to fight in the council and get, that is different. But whereas the work, if you want to do some honest and this correct work and keep your ward clean, you have to do that. Because you remember the olden days when Rajas and Maharajas were there. Now any allocation, anything is done. It doesn't go to the beneficiaries. Why? Because the so-called district officers or the, these officers, they don't go to the site and see what is the happening. They all operate from there. And now those days they were going by horses, going to each village, once in a village, and go listen to them. Now if a Janta Darshan is there, all the way from Bagalkot and Bidar, they come to see Chief Minister here. Why that should happen? A local man should be able to do. Now there is video conferencing. So many things are there. Problems could have been solved. We are not doing. You go to Janata Darshan Day and CM's Day, you find the whole Kumarakarpa Road is full. I go for a walk there in the morning. You just cannot walk there. This is the condition. This condition we have got only because our elected representatives are not up to the standard. This is what first thing each one of you should realize. Then automatically your things will, things will improve. And we only hope with a systematic training like this, we hope to achieve better goal in future. And slums, as far as slums are concerned, let me tell you one sample which we did on Harlur village, which is a, got about more than six, 7,000 families but not leave a 40, cluster of 40, 50, like that. So their, their complaint was, once in 15 days, once in 20 days, garbage collection, they don't go at all. Because uh, they have got, everybody throws out. So when we, I went, each cluster, I used to call them. I had that battery mic with me, call all of them out. So why are you doing all this? Sir, nobody comes. Because you have come, everybody is behind you. So this is what is happening. So then I gave a, this thing, that too with a slum if you go, dry waste, not like us, hardly one or two, some pieces will be there. And wet waste also, they hardly have anything to eat. Where are they going to throw? The vegetable, cut vegetables will be there. That too, cut vegetables, there was somebody having cows. I suggested you give it to the cow straight away. Don't even take it anywhere. So that small thing which it comes, so I called the owner, fortunately he came. So whenever I go there, I told them that, of course, I misused my powers. I told them I have come from the high court to, <laughs> as a, to, to search for this. I don't know what the judge, one day I told judge also, I said, you go ahead, do what you want. So this is what I did, but I am misusing my power or resignation. So that is not, but at least for the good. So those fellows, I called the owner, so I told him, you see that uh, one bin we are going to keep. Give us a place. Bin means not the concrete big bin which was there earlier. Just a small bin, 40 houses cluster, maybe about 20 kilos, 15 kilos of wet waste may come. Even if it doesn't come for three days, fill it and it will be there. And once in three days, he will come and pick it. So they were all very happy. I write in front of this one. And for each uh, cluster, I found out one man, as soon as I went, it was 101 complaints he gave. That means I knew he is the leader. So I caught hold of him, said, you are the in charge for this place. <laughs> so you look after this and see this. And I gave my number, I gave the health inspector's number and the contractor's number. All of them were with me. 
So first you call this supervisor. If he doesn't do, call the health inspector. If he doesn't do, call me. Then third one, that is the type of solution I gave them. So that means it is possible to do it. We don't have that uh, mindset. See, people are just, you know, go abroad, Singapore, everywhere. They come back and start throwing in Bangalore. From the airport only, they will just down the window and throw it out. I we can do in Bangalore. It is our city. We are democratic, we claim. Do whatever we want. So this is the tendency we have. To break that tendency is quite difficult. But still, people like you, if you all combine, it's possible. And this, my advice is now, solid waste management, whether you are elected or not, don't bother. In your area, if there is problem, there, I'm sure the problem will be there. You go ahead and take it. And collect about three, four like-minded people and see and find out. And if you want any advice, take my number and call me. Tomorrow I am going to Harvard. Today also I was went to, Shoba is not there, I went to Harvard. So at least weekly, three, four wards I am going. I am ready to help. How to do, as soon as I go, I will bring all the paraphernalia with me. So all the inspector, health inspector, supervisor, everybody follows. So then, I will give you. So all those people you ca I will assemble, and then you will be able to do much better. Because I know, by yourself, if you go, nobody will listen to you. And uh, nothing will happen. So I am ready to support you. So I don't bother which party or which this thing ever comes. But I am ready to help you. And if you want to take my help, take three, four volunteers. When many of the apartments also we did. First thing is, most important is that garbage problem can be solved mostly by ladies. This is my opinion because of my this one. So many of the apartments, ladies are the prime movers there. And they call themselves in one place green diamonds. One place they call green army. Another place they call green jewels. Whatever they want, they can call. Today they gave another new name, green something. So whatever is there, you can give. But we are interested in the goal. Let us achieve the goal and you will be able to do much better. And now, whatever, now I have already taken time. You can, some interaction, I am supposed to be interaction only. During so. the festival time, the, you know, the will be more, no, that time how to pick up. Yeah, that uh, class. Now this new tender, when it is made, when you are calling after the court, we have put a class. Every time there is a festival. So all that festival material, separate lorry should be provided by the contractor for which we are making provision. So that can be done. But for the present, what you should do is, say for example, now I live in Sheshadripuram. All Sheshadripuram main road, the, during the festival, <coughs> yes please, during the festival, they bring this plantain leaves, all those things they bring. And they make a whole mess when they go away. Now what I do is, when I am going, I will see them putting two, two days or three days. And I will see that before you go out, you must clean and go. Otherwise, I am going to put everything and take to the policeman or the BBMP officer and see that you are fine. Like that. And I follow it up. Because if you just do it, he will know you know, perseverance is very important and patience is equally important. Otherwise, you will fail. Whatever you do, just because you do, next day you become angry, hey, forget it, this man won't do, and means he will not do itself. Next day again you go. That is why patience and perseverance, very important. And next is, as the previous speaker said, compromises. Compromise is required, but up to some extent, not compromise. Oh, yes, madam? Uh, sir, sir, I have one request. Yeah. I think some student uh, might have to run because it's a little late. Yeah. So, I think they are all eager to get your contact. Uh, sure. Maybe we can break for that and then continue. No, no, no. Break, uh, my num number you want? Yes. I want to go 93412. 93412-50158. Mail ID? Mail ID. Mail ID. Mail ID. Card only I will give. Can you write it down, please? Sure. I will give you one card. Yeah. Yeah. Veda Rama. V-E-D-A. R-A-M-A. Uh, I write it down. Uh, uh, yeah, 
क्वेश्चन प्लीज या फॉर माइक इन द पुलिस नौ यस्टर्डे यू सा द हईकोर्ट आर्डर नो यू मस्ट हव सीन दे हव गिवन स्टिंकर्स टू टू दिस पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड एवरी टाइम द पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड लार मैन वाज टेलिंग दैट आई हैव नो मैन पवर एंड आई हैव कैनॉट हैव पवर then he shouted uh, told him that my lawyer and this one if you have that man power you tell the concerned police and give him a notice and uh, this thing inform no, the question is, huh? the question is we yeah. using the mic 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 of course Megaphone. police permission required no, yeah battery 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 oh battery phone no 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 okay okay just a second before you leave for that you don't need please remember if you are not here by 9:30 you can't attend the chepanda workshop okay please there's there's absolutely nothing that i or anybody else can do sharath also has got to